So, as far as this exercise goes, um, I'm going to play at 60 beats per minute, which it says on the top, which is uncomfortably slow for a drummer. It feels like it's crawling along, so it makes it easier to speed up. So I'm going to show you a trick on how not to do that. Um, I've got a hi-hat here, which you can hear, but you can't see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count eighth notes as I go through this. If you count quarter notes at 60, like this, one, two, there's a lot of space where you can speed up. It's hard to play that slow. So if I'm just counting one, two, three, four, and I try to play 16th notes, uh, you've got to really aim for that chord note. And it, 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 it feels, it doesn't really sound like anything, right? It's so slow, it doesn't really sound like anything. It doesn't sound like 16th notes. But it's good to play slow because when we speed up, it'll be easier. But what I like to do is if I'm playing a slow tempo like this, I'm going to count eighth notes. One and two and three and four. And I'm going to play those here. So those are eighth notes at 60 So I'm going to play through the exercise. But you'll notice all the notes are going to fit evenly into these hi-hat clicks over here. The eighth notes are counting. One, two, three. One, I count quarter notes when you get into the triplet stuff especially you're going to speed up because it feels like you need to go faster this is a really slow tempo so if I'm counting quarter notes and I'm playing 16 notes when I go for the when I go for the uh, 16 note triplets so much time in there. If you count eighth notes, the top line, it's easy to fit two notes in between them. Up, up, up. Here's 16 notes. It's easy to fit three notes between them. Ba -da 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 Do this if you play bass drum anyway, because that's how you can uh, feel all those rhythms in the bass drum line. But if you haven't heard of this, now you have. So they used to tell us in music school to count the fastest rhythm you're gonna play. So if you're playing jazz or whatever, and you're gonna play some 16th note triplets, we would count that before we got to it. So when we got to that spot, we knew what speed we we're gonna go already, right? Um, but you don't really have to do that for this. If you just count eighth notes, everything fits easily. It's just, the only one that's really weird is line number two there, the eighth note triplets, because they don't fit evenly over eighth notes, right? These are eighth notes. Excuse me, a three against two polyrhythm. So you get this. 
that's a trick I'll show you later. But that's how you keep them speeding up. When you get to that one, you can probably just count quarter notes for now. And you'll be all right because it's slow, right? So one. Later on, we'll do a whole thing on how to do that polyrhythm thing. It, it makes it, your life a lot easier. Um, okay, so at this speed, it's a little uncomfortable and impractical because you're not going to play any songs for 60 beats per minute. So what I like to do is practice this at 60, and then at 90, and then at 120. So you go up 30 beats per uh, exercise. So if I'm at 90... Here's 90. Much more comfortable tempo. So the eighth notes are here. Notice at this tempo, I'm going to play chordy notes over here. It is faster. better because it's uh, a faster speed and my screen went black halfway through that um, so that's how you want to do it figure it out slow so you know where all the notes are and then speed it up at little increments I usually go like I said uh, uh, 60 90 120 180 um, and all you're doing is going up a third right and that's all you have to do what I would do, Sammy, is practice these right, left, right, left all the time. And then later you can do them with different stickings. Um, a good one is to do all of this with double strokes. Like this. the different steps. The triplets feel weird, um, but eventually you'll get it. Um, but for now, just go right, left, right, left, um, and just count. You gotta count. Right now, I've got it in my ear. Um, but what they used to tell us at music school is that you gotta count out loud. If you count out loud, then you're forced to follow your voice. Just count quarter notes or eighth notes. Um, they used to make us do it in different ways. Count eight notes, we play a little thing. Count sixteen notes. Twenty and a two and a three and a four and a one. And then you gotta figure out how to play the triplet over sixteenth note counting. One, which is hard. And then once you get to sixteenth note, you're, ma you're matching your voice, right? So if you can go through this, at, at least those two tempos, um, you, you'll be ready for some of the stuff in the, the piece. That song, uh, the Copeland piece, has a section at 88, which is about the speed we're at now, and a section at 144. And it's not, it's the same thing. It's just twice as fast so you play slower. You, just, you play the same note values. Like you play the 16th notes, they kind of sound like eighth notes. It's the same thing. It's just a different counting uh, system. So your conductor will be going like this, but you're not going to really change that much. Um, that's about it. So I'm going to play it one more time. Um, and then you can mess around with it. So in a couple of weeks, we'll start going through the song bit by bit. All right? So here we are at...
All right, have fun. Practice. Practice on the pad so it doesn't bother your parents too much. Or the neighbors. I'm going to use this person to the cage. All right. Bye.